When I first started my PhD, I was given six months to read research papers and fully understand my research topic. Now, six months is such a long time. Today, with the use of AI, I can read a research paper in a matter of minutes. So that six months could have been cut down to less than a tenth of the time if I were able to use AI tools. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the AI tool that I would recommend you to use if you are a researcher or an academic or a student who wants to read research papers a lot quicker, but also be able to thoroughly understand and comprehend what you have read correctly and to be able to use that within your assignments and written research papers. So let's start with step number one, and this is where you actually find and upload your research papers. So I'm gonna start off by uploading some research papers papers into my library and as you can see I use Anara quite a lot so I've got a lot of chats and documents and research papers and things like that I've uploaded in the past. This is really easy all you have to do is drag and drop your research paper straight into your library and within a matter of minutes these have been uploaded into your library and imported. So this is what the library looks like you have all seven papers uploaded with the authors the file type and also a quick summary uh, that has been generated by Anara to describe what this paper is about. And you can edit this summary. If you want to personalize it a little bit, you can of course uh, make some changes, but it just quickly summarizes what this research paper is actually about. Now, one of my favorite features about Anara is that you can group research papers together. So I'm going to add all seven research papers that I've just uploaded into a folder. I'm going to call it machine learning. And these are the papers related to this topic that I'm reading about today. And so these are all now in a folder and I can interrogate this folder, I can ask questions about the whole folder or even just pick out specific research papers and ask questions about just that one research paper. A lot of people tend to overlook step number one where you have your research papers in one place and it's organized and it's clearly labeled and it's in folders because otherwise all you have is a desktop full of research papers in random places without specific folders and you're not necessarily able to interrogate them the way that you want to. So having this kind of library is I think really powerful and a really valuable tool to begin to even start reading and understanding what you have. Step number two is to ask targeted questions about the research that you want to understand. So here I've opened up just one research paper. So I've got the whole folder there, but I'm just looking and interested in understanding one research paper. And I want to show you how quickly you can do this using Anara. So the whole paper is there. It's been uploaded. And on the right hand side, I can start to chat. I can start to ask questions. I can break down the topic. I can get practice questions. I can even use some suggested questions that are a lot more in depth. But I want to really start from the beginning to make sure that I fully understand this research paper. I'm going to click on the breakdown uh, quick action. This gives me a tailor-made prompt where it's asking Anara to give me a summary for the research paper and using this kind of table format, it should include the title, the authors, the method, the research objectives, the key findings, um, the kind of takeaway, the limitations, conclusions, and anything being given to me here in the summary has an in-text citation. So it refers me directly into where from the text this has been pulled out from. So it's ensuring that it's not hallucinating, it's not making random things up, uh, which I think is really important. I've highlighted one of the key findings and I want to say actually what were the specific results that showed this key finding because of course if you want to understand a research paper it's not enough to just ask an AI tool for a summary and just run with that summary you have to understand where this information has actually come from so actually it said that this conclusion was supported by both quantitative results and qualitative observations so I know straight away that yes this was the key result but how did they find it it's backed up by both in vitro and in vivo data as well I don't understand what that quite means so again I want to delve in a bit deeper. So what I can do is I can actually chat to any bit of text here, either within the chat or even within the research paper itself. And I'm going to say, can you explain what this is? Because I want to know in a bit more depth as more of a general definition, what this in vitro data is referring to. And it's broken it down completely for me. Another thing that I can do to help me understand research papers is to explain certain figures. So here I can say, can you explain figure three in context to this topic? And it's showing me like what this means, what the y-axis is, the, the x-axis, um, what does data set show, uh, what are the implications for the model development? And, this, and it's synthesizing it with relation to the topics. I think this is really useful. 
Another thing that I can do is as I'm reading, I can highlight different sections of the text um, using colors and the highlight tool. And then I can leave a comment. So something to remind myself, ah, that was a section that explained machine learning um, and its impact in medicine, for example. Or that was a section that explained this. So it's not just me getting lots of information, but actually I can leave comments on the text for me to understand and refer back to later. And all of this just takes a matter of minutes for you to be able to pick out some important information. And of course, no one's stopping you from delving in deeper and taking more time to read into it and find out more if you're interested. But if you're, if all you want is that quick review and to decide whether this is a paper that could be relevant to you, this is something that you can do in minutes. The third thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that any answer that you have received from Anara is verifiable. So as I mentioned earlier, you can see this very easily easily uh, within Anara. If there's any point that has been made in the chat, um, it refers directly to the research paper and allows you to click onto that particular number and it takes you directly to where in the text this has been mentioned. So you're able to verify this really easily. You're able to ensure that this clickable citation links you directly to the exact passage in the document. And this is something that is missing in more generalized AI tools like uh, ChatGPT, where it, yes, you can ask it to give you information, but you wouldn't necessarily know where that's coming from. And you wouldn't necessarily be able to verify that. But with Anara, you can be sure that there is no fabricated information or like no hallucinations because you can directly retrieve <laughs> where this information is coming from, from the primary source. The fourth thing that you want to do is to compare between documents. Now, when you're reading one research paper, that's great. It's great to understand. It's great to know what that one research paper is talking about. But you do need to compare across research papers. So you're able to say, well, this is what this paper says. But actually, the claim that the second paper is making may be stronger or may be different. So you're able to do things like comparative studies or even like a systematic review. So as I showed you earlier, you can group your uh, documents research papers into a folder and this is the first important thing that you want to do then you can chat to the whole group so here I'm speaking to seven files so all seven files within my folder and I'm asking the question like what are the key themes of these research papers and these themes could form for example my literature review or like my introduction or just kind of understand this topic a little bit more as to what those themes might be it might seem like these numbers are quite excessive but actually this makes sure that every single thing can be linked back to a primary source like nothing is fake nothing has been made up everything refers directly to a research paper that I personally have uploaded within this library I've then said um, how do these research papers differ so, and if I click into any one of these numbers that will take me directly to the specific research paper that it's referring to. So here it's opened it up for me using the kind of tab display, which I actually quite like. I prefer the tab to the table. I don't know why I like the tabs because I can kind of see each research paper one by one, but it takes me directly to that research paper, but also to the section within the research paper, not just the whole paper, but actually the specific passage in the research paper that it's, it's, it's referring to. I can also use this tag feature within the chat so I can search through the web, through YouTube videos. I can create citations for certain research papers or I can just mention one specific paper. So for example, in this case, I want to say what were the methods used in just this paper. So not the whole folder, but just one paper. So I can add one paper and then ask a specific question. So that's also useful if I want to kind of move away from looking at the whole group. And the last thing that I want to do is to be able to extract any key information that I want from the things that I've read and to be able to write it somewhere. But with Anara, I'm able to write it in a note. So let's say, for example, I want to create a citation. I can say create citation and I can just choose a research paper that I'm interested in and it creates a citation for me really easily. I can either copy this and take it to wherever I am writing, Microsoft Word, Google, whatever. But in this case, I'm going to open it as a note. So it's actually staying within my workspace. So I'm just kind of keeping it there on the right hand side. So I'm, you know, not losing it or not having to kind of go back and forth between different tabs and different kind of platforms. So here it's all there for me. I can add my citations really easily. I can add any other text that I, I generate as well. Um, but then I can also find some YouTube videos. So I can say, actually, can you find me a video to explain machine learning a bit simply because I'm still 
still feeling a little bit confused and I can take that YouTube video and again, copy it into my note and save it there for kind of future use and for reference. I can also search the web for information. So you're not just limited to the research papers that you present. I can search the web. I said, what is the next research breakthrough in the future in this space of machine learning? And are there any research papers that can support this? So it's gonna be searching through the web, not through my library. So, and this um, symbol with the arrow, so that that's going to take me outside of Anara. So, and then I also want to just find some research papers. So I'm going to use the search papers tool to find a relevant research paper about machine learning, but specifically in medicine, because I don't think I found one to do with medicine. So I'm going to ask Anara to look for me for a research paper. And it's done that quite quickly in a matter of seconds. It's given me two research papers. Again, I can click on those and that will take me out of the platform. So I'm able to download it if I want or read it, find out more information. And I just think it's really, it's really handy to be able to have that um, capability within Anara. All in all, I think Anara is a great tool for academics and researchers. It really allows you to hone into your reading. It allows you to not just read quickly, but to read with substance. So you're able to read research papers in a fraction of the time that you may have been able to before using Anara, but actually we're able to understand it to more depth. So we're not losing that depth of understanding. We're actually able to understand it better because we have the tools to search through different places like YouTube videos or you know the web or other research papers but we're also able to compare across research papers and uh, compare kind of through different groups and we're also able to you know interrogate things that we may not understand and it's all within one interface and one kind of platform so it just makes that process a lot more seamless and a lot easier to use so if you enjoyed this video then leave me a thumbs up let me know what you thought I do have a discount code and I do have a link down below that you can use to try Anara out for yourself and as always um, I wouldn't recommend something that I don't personally use you can kind of see the list of research papers I have in Anara it's my go-to platform for things to do with like academic reading and understanding research papers so check it out yourself let me know what you think and I really hope to see you in my next video okay bye